Hi, this is Monty from Mopart Vehicles and here's another vehicle uh, that's just recently come into us as a part exchange. Okay, so it's, uh, it's a part exchange clearance and if you're not too sure what a part exchange clearance means or anything like that, because you'll see a lot of garages advertise them, give us a call, we'll explain to you the reasons why it is. Uh, most of it's just to do with the age, condition, etc. of the car. Uh, again, sort of price-wise at this particular price point, most warranty companies will not warranty a vehicle of this sort of age, uh, mileage, or, or even at the price we're selling it at. Okay, now I'm going to briefly walk around the car and again give you a more detailed view. Well, I mean, most of my retail cars, the videos tend to go on for about 10 minutes. This one won't be nowhere as long as that because this is not one of our retail cars. This is just a vehicle that's just come into us um, that we'll just want to um, sort of clear as quickly, well I say as quickly as possible, it's, it's just not cars that we generally want to sell. So she's our 2000 or BMW 318Ti, it's an E36 318Ti, she's covered 114,000 miles, four owners. Uh, the last uh, owner had it for seven and a half years. Previous to that, his son owned it for a couple of years. Uh, so about 10 years in one particular uh, family. So it hasn't had loads of owners. Like, you know, cars of this age might have sort of 15 owners. I had someone recently call me up yesterday um, with, who's got a car that's about the same sort of age as this and it had 18 owners on it. And uh, it's not a car that we would normally take in in part exchange. Anyway, but... Um, so the reasons for these videos, it, I mean, normally, again, going by retail cars, we wouldn't normally take pictures and videos in the rain. You know, I think if you look at it, she is, what, 20 years of age now. She's not going to be a brand new car, but believe me, it does drive pretty well. Now, this car we have taken for an MOT. It has failed its MOT on two rear coil springs. I'm going to show you the coil springs that we're going to be replacing them with. The car's going to be serviced like an oil and filter service before it leaves us. Uh, and all together in the book, there's 14 services that would have been completed, including the oil and filter. We're going to do, we're not going to do an air filter because it's got a K&N performance air filter. Now also with this car, it's got a performance exhaust. So I will hold the camera and go and start the car up so you can hear it. It's a bit noisier, uh, so it's not going to appeal to everybody. All right, so I'll just go down the side of the car. There's a few little rust spots here and there, a few little digs and dents but you're going to understand it's not a brand new car guys it's not one of our retail vehicles uh, it is sold it will be you know under the 1500 pound mark but um, there was no other advisories on the MOT it was just the rear coil springs so as long as you know you're going to have something that's going to have a new MOT it's going to be oil and filter changed um, and it should be a cheap run around for the next year or so uh, so yeah, no advisories apart from the rear coil springs, which uh, I'll be taking the car back to the MOT station over the next couple of days. It's only because of the New Year Christmas period, it's been hard to get any garages to do any work on cars. So let's just show you inside. You've got two keys of the vehicle. All the windows work now. This window didn't work when it first came into us, but we've got that working now. It was coming off the uh, the runners. We've had that all stripped down. It needed a new regulator. We got some clips supplied by the customer, but all the regulator was all bent up and buckled up, and we've had all that replaced. So that works absolutely fine now. Then I have genuinely look, look, looked after the car in terms of servicing it. Interior is not like your usual awful stained interior and ripped seat it's not bad actually you've got two keys of the car five speed manual transmission single cd radio and believe it or not the air conditioning all still works as well well to be fair we have to just topped it up but it's all working fine show you the back seats there Now I did say this video won't go on for long, but looks like it probably will do. Hopefully not. Right, hopefully you can see all that, it looks all good. Now I'm going to place the camera just down here for a second, hopefully it's pointing towards the exhaust. I'll start her up for you so you can hear what it's like. Go. 
hopefully you pick that up okay now along the back of the car you're going to have a few little marks along the bumpers but nothing major now the bit i do want to show you is a couple of bits of rust on the car now if you look at the previous mot's it had some corrosion issues where the seal on the passenger side that's all been done that was welded by the previous customer went through the mot absolutely fine so you've got a little bit of corrosion there a bit of rust and around that edge and around here all right hopefully you can pick that up now let's just quickly show you in the boot so there is the oil and filter that we were going to be doing on the car and the two rear springs that are going to be fitted uh not just empty boxes now i've got some springs in there believe me there they are you can probably see them okay we haven't gone for any kind of cheap springs or anything like that but they will be fitted on the car and it'll have a new mot and it'll have no advisories as well going along the passenger side now the car is fitted with avon tires all the way around plenty of tread on the avon tires hopefully you can try and pick up some of the reflections here that there's no nasty sort of digs or anything like that there's going to be a few dents here and there she's 20 years of age guys show you the door panels i'll try and put as many pictures as i possibly can of the car uh, on auto trader on my website it'll also go on to i think facebook mark marketplace let's close that door properly there we go now you're not going to be able to pick it up on here but on the bonnet because obviously it's been raining all looks really shiny on this side of the bonnet here it's just a little bit slightly faded you can probably see some of the reflections it's around there but nothing too bad as i mentioned tires all the tires are all like that absolutely fine it's a crack in the fog lamp lens there but again it's just a part exchange clearance guys all right it's not of our re normal retail standard so um we're coming up to eight minutes now just wanted to sort of finish off with uh now and sort of you know get next sort of 20 seconds or so so if you don't understand what a part exchange clearance means please give us a call we'll explain to you um because the cars of this sort of age we have to dispose them some sort of way um hence on auto trade or anything under 1500 pound it won't give it price good great etc that type of thing but it will be a cheap run around for someone for the next year or so that you know hopefully fingers crossed you shouldn't really need to spend much money on it because it's gonna uh, obviously with the mot we know it's failed on two rear coil springs but they will be replaced oil and filter done uh, and hopefully she'll be uh, she'll go to a lucky new owner very shortly thank you very much for your time take care bye bye